When it comes to using the Tag and View app and carrying out your analysis, after you've imported your templates, you need to go to the register area. Down the bottom of the screen, you can see the areas that you're working in as well. So I make sure I'm on register and it's highlighted yellow. Then you tap on the template that you want to use. So I'll use the football one in this example. Capture video is if you wanted to use the iPad camera to record the video. But seeing that we're gonna link this up with a video file we've got from elsewhere, we're gonna say capture video no, and then we're just gonna press continue at the bottom. Now you can give this a name. And what you need to do now is that when that first half is starting, you're gonna press this start first period button. So you press that, and then what I suggest is also pressing the first half throw in button. So down this right hand side, you're gonna see the actions that you're tagging as you go. And we have a few different panels in this template. So we're starting with kickouts or puckouts up here in the top left. Then we've got possessions, attacks and turnovers. When we press shots or the card buttons, it will jump us to another panel. So as a scenario, let's say we're gonna start with our own kickout. So we press the own kickout button first, and then we press the outcome. So either we win it with one of these outcomes or the opposition wins it. So you choose the outcome, so I'm going to press one clean, and then you click on where uh, you won that. So whichever team you always, and whichever half you're playing in, always do this as the goal of the team that's kicking out or taking the puck out. So I'm going to say that it went to this area, so I tap on that on the iPad. Now when it comes to registering your possessions that you've got, I'm going to press own possession. And this is a manual mode button, so it's going to stay on until I turn it off. So that's running. And let's say I now want to say that this is an attack. I'm going to press the attack button. That puts some information into my possession, as you can see over here. So I can say that that possession turned into an attack. In this scenario, we're going to say that we actually turned it over. So when I press own turnover, it's now automatically turned on the opposition possession. Now let's say that they turn it over again, so I'm going to tap op turnover. And now we're back in possession. If uh, the game stopped for any reason here, I can press this turn off manual buttons and that ends everything that's running. So that's a really important one to look at. So we wouldn't go straight to a kick out or a puck out now, but let's just imagine this scenario. So I'm going to start again with a kick out and I'm going to say we won clean to this area. Now we're going to have a possession again and an attack, but this time we have a shot. So when I press own shot, it takes me to another panel. Again, for each team, you use the same reference point. This is the goal we're shooting at. So you tap where uh, the shot came from. And then you've got some extra information to put in. So where did that shot come from? Our own kick out or the opposition's kick out? Um, the opposition turned over to us or, or our own throw in, so choose one. Then whether it was from play or from placed. And now you choose an outcome. So it's either a point or a goal or any of these missed actions. And there's some clustered buttons behind so that if I press point, for example, it's going to put in some information that that was a score. When you come back to this panel, it's important to press the option to turn off manual buttons. So now let's do an opposition kick out. And again, we're gonna win it this time. And I'm gonna tap where it happens on the field. So we've got possession again. And then let's say there's a turnover. Opposition have got it. Then they have an attack. Then they have a shot. We say where it came from. And it was from a turnover from our team. I'm gonna go from play and we're gonna tap goal. And then we come back here and we turn off the manual buttons. As this is going, you can use the counters on the template to get an indication of how many kickouts each team is uh, taking and how many kickouts each team is winning. So now if we have opposition kick out again and they win it clean, we can see here easily on the iPad that we've won three kickouts so far, obviously the same with puck outs and the opposition have won one. <laughs>
So let's have another possession, an attack, and I'm going to press shot again. Choose where it happens and the outcomes. And we just keep going in this scenario. Always remember to turn off our manual buttons. You've got some simple buttons if you just want to tag when a positive moment happens or a negative moment, because you're going to review that back in Max Sport with a video. You can also say when fouls happen. And if you click on the card button, you can then say if it was yellow, black, or red. When it comes to the end of the first half, you're going to click to end first period. Then you have your break in play. And when the second half is about to start, you press start second period. And this is going to be the moment that you sync up with a video back in Max Sport, which is explained in another video. So we start that and I press second half throw in. Then you go through the same process. So we have a kick out. The opposition want it clean on this area of the field. They've got possession. They started an attack, but they turned it over. Then we started an attack. We had a shot from this area, from the opposition turnover, and we scored a goal. Always remember to then turn off the manual mode buttons when you come back to this point. The final thing you do is end the event. So we tap end of event. We leave the analysis. And now all your analysis will show up here. So I'm going to tap on the top one that we've just done. And then you can see an icon here to export to Mac export. You can also save this out as an XML file that can be used in other platforms, but we're going to choose to export the Mac file. You can then use this to send an email to yourself, and that's the file that you then use to import back into Mac export on the computer. If you don't have your email set up for whatever reason, that file will also be exported to the files area on your iPad. So you can go to the files app, and then on my iPad, and you'll click on tag and view, and then you'll see a databases area. Categories is where the templates are, so we go databases, and then you find that game, for example, here, and then you can choose to share that in any way that you need.